rebound to witness. Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down. Joe Frazier in Undisputed is built like a truck. His body health is high, his stamina is high, his conditioning is high, and lastly, his guard health is high. And his granite chin trait reduces his ability to be flash knocked out by 25%. What this does for Joe is it grants him the ability to just put his guard up and just walk you down, get his head into your chest, and then begin swinging. Now, be warned, Joe Frazier is not the easiest fighter to use, and a lot of his kit hinges on your ability to cut off the ring. And as you can see from this short clip, Darkseid kept me almost exclusively to this one corner of the ring. A quick tip on how to stay in front of your opponent, utilize your directional hooks in order to reposition yourself right in front of your opponent. The directional hooks almost magnetize you to them and it replaces you right in front of them. That way, they are not allowed to escape. Another major portion of Joe Frazier's kit was his ability to bob and weave before he actually released his left hand power. You can do somewhat of the same thing in Undisputed. If you want to release heavy punches and hooks, they can be done off of a slip. What the slip does is it actually decreases the gap between your slip and your punch, making it oh so slightly that much quicker. But the key is to slip toward the direction of the hand that you're going to utilize for your punch. On defense, Joe Frazier is rather unique. A, he has the ability to put up his cross guard and just walk straight at you without really worrying about what's coming in return. Secondly, because of the cross guard, Landing uppercuts on Joe Frazier is a little bit more difficult than it would be on your average opponent. So to conclude on Joe, if you're having trouble with guys backstep straighting or just being too elusive, Joe Frazier is a good choice to go with because you don't have to overthink anything. Put your guard up and just walk them down. The great thing about Joe Frazier and one thing that everyone has to understand is that utilizing his cross guard, the minute you see contact onto your cross guard, that is your opportunity to let your hands go and to land something big. Use your weave, use your head movement, use your slip ability, and let those power shots go. There's a lot of reward and very little risk when it comes to utilizing Joe Frazier. Now, to address the big elephant in the room, of where is Joe Frazier's leaping left hook? Well, it's currently not in this build of the game, but I do believe that it's something that we'll see in possibly the near future.